We start tonight with safety talks as Cleveland city leaders met today to discuss how to respond to the recent spike in violent crime. Tonight, community advocates, advocates rather are weighing in on the city's response. Bree Buckley has more. Next, we have uh, uh, crime statistics specifically to homicides. City leaders meeting to discuss violence plaguing the streets of Cleveland. There's just not a reverence for human life um, and people settle their differences uh, with a handgun versus uh, trying to uh, have conflict res resolution. The current conflict, how to combat the crime. Council members frustrated that more isn't being done. We want, we want aggressive policing in the city. People are disgusted. They can't sit on their front porches. They're afraid to go to a local gas station or store. As homicides have jumped more than 20% compared to last year, the police department is pointing to the mayor's RISE initiative to help address the issue with more funding for police and public safety, saying ShotSpotter has saved six lives so far this year. As well as partnerships with the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department and the Ohio State Highway Patrol to enhance safety. We have to prioritize community and people first in order to see the progressiveness of wherever Cleveland can grow to. But we can't grow if we can't heal, and Cleveland needs some real healing. Cleveland Peacemakers Alliance Executive Director Maisha Watkins says it comes down to each neighborhood coming together to play individual roles in restoring hope. Pastor McBride, he says, hopelessness is more deadly than a bullet. And that's true. When you don't have hope, you can't even see the future. And police recruitment was another huge topic discussed today. Chief Drummond says there are currently 1,231 officers. 100 have left so far this year and 250 more are eligible for retirement. A couple dozen are expected to join soon, but Russ, that's well below the 180 on the budget that they can hire. Okay. Bree Buckley, thank you.